Well, here we go, ladies and gentlemen. It is Saturday, the 23rd of September, and today I'm going to be moving to Leamington Spa, which I guess could well be my home for the next four years while I'm studying at Warwick. It's provisionally about a three hour drive, I think, to get there, but we have to go by the uni first. So basically we're gonna be driving down from here uh, by the M1, I think pretty much all the way down, and then turning off, going to the uni, picking up my keys, and then going to Leamington to find out where exactly is I'm gonna be living. So. Bye, Toby. As you can see behind me, it's just coming up on uh, nine o'clock. My mum was a little bit teary, she's gone. Um, my dad is gonna be here in about 10 minutes and get loaded up. And uh, I tried to be minimal with my packing. Somehow that, whoa, that uh, didn't quite happen. But mostly books, like I think as a percentage, there's more of books than anything else in the load that I'm taking. But reading's gotta be good. Okay, we are on the road. It's currently 25 past 10. We're about a half an hour into the journey. My dad, who is full of cold, <laughs> is very kindly driving me down and be a long old haul. I didn't sleep very much last night. I was really kind of nervy, um, obviously before a big change, but I'm really excited to see a bit more of the uni itself, see my accommodation and um, catch up in a bit. So I'm just pulled over in a lay-by um, right now while my dad has stopped for a smoke. We're really, really close looking at the sat-nav. Um, we have an estimated time of arrival five minutes from now uh, at the university where I can go and pick up my keys. I've never actually been to the main campus of Warwick Uni before. I've been to the med school, but that is... Actually, no, that's not true. I've been to the, the bar. So I might have been to part of it, but I'm certainly not familiar with the campus as a whole, so that could be interesting. So, here we are on campus now. I've picked up my key and my ID card, so now we're going to head to Leamington and see where I'm going to be living. Okay, so, moved all my stuff in. As of present, we are walking into the centre of Leamington Spa, just so my dad can get a coffee. <laughs> um, but move the stuff in, the room and the house look absolutely amazing, but I will show you footage of that later. So what do you think to it, Dad? Oh, the goose great, Ollie. <laughs> okay, so we are on our way back from the town now. We've just had some very, very nice soup. And uh, now I'm gonna show you the house. Okay, so we are in the room now. It's much later on actually, it's getting on uh, half past six, but I thought I'd better make this video now. I haven't unpacked completely. However, it's getting close to sunset. I think sunset is at seven or something like that today. So just while there's a bit of natural light, let's show you around. So if I majestically turn around, I'm actually really, really stunned by how big this room is. This is a Warwick Uni uh, managed accommodation, so it's off campus, this is in Lemington Spa, but, I mean, if I just step back again, ensuite room, pan, look in there, shower, loo, uh, bed, which I forgot to bring pillows for, it turns out. I have pillowcases, but no pillows. I did remember a duvet, but sadly no pillows, so I need to find pillows. Um, just tons of floor space, again, this is just bags of clothes, basically, that I haven't unpacked. These awesome, massive, do they call this a sash window? I think with these uh, these cords here, you can see them, but really, really good. Let's in a ton of natural light. I'm really happy with that big radiator and lots and lots of wardrobe space again, stuff. Um, this is a little bit cramped on here. Uh, 
down from three monitors at the moment. Just got two, but to be honest, I think I can only really use two. Got lots of books and things unpacked. I was planning on not bringing you, Mr. Old Very Heavy PS3. Um, there up there is a bunch of the things I was trying to finish um, before the end of the summer, but did not manage to. Also, a ton of books. Uh, lots of medical books that I got very, very cheaply, and a ton more. I mean, I almost have, like, too much space in here. It's something like f 5, no, 4.8 metres by 3.6 or something. So, really, really quite large. Got my lovely Japanese Fender Strat just sitting in the corner, uh, ripping the iGem flag. I've made a cunning hook from a guitar case up here, and it turns out we can actually wear our old lab, not our old lab coats, but you can wear any white lab coat for the med school labs. So, you know, I thought I'd fly the flag of my old institution. Just panning in here, kind of standard en suite. Just before we look in the bag, tell you a story. My grandmother, when I'm at home, she will come and visit uh, every week, every Thursday, right? So. Uh, me and my two brothers are at home, my mum comes home from work, so my gran comes once a week. We all eat dinner together and it's very nice. What she does is she brings, she'll bring for me and each of my brothers like a bottle of shower gel or shampoo or something, just as like a little gift, like a useful gift. There may be like a pound a bottle or whatever. But as a result of that there's just so much, there's like bags and bags and bags of things and that's probably going to last all the way through the year. Something to bear in mind is that I am actually living in a house of 21 people. I've met about, I don't know, uh, five, six of them. Everyone seems super nice so far. It's all post-grad. I've met two other students that are starting with me on the medical course. But yeah, generally, just being a little bit older, I think most people will be much easier to get along with necessarily than where I living with 18 year olds for example. Okay so it's just gone uh, half past 12 um, so we're into Sunday morning technically but we've just spent the last few hours or well, the last four hours because we went downstairs at half past eight um, just everybody that's here which is about 10 people uh, sat downstairs in the main kind of living room area and that's been really nice everyone seems really really chilled out and lovely um, no problems so far the the people that have been living here before there are a few that have stayed on from last year so they've been telling us kind of how everything works and um, it's been really interesting now thing I did notice um, it says on my property agreement that there should be hardline ethernet um, which is obviously really useful my desktop PC over there there is no hardline ethernet that was a lie so I'm currently engaged in some sort of Frankenstein affair where I'm using the Wi-Fi adapter on my laptop and then bridging that connection to my desktop so I can actually get Wi-Fi and I can get this video edited and uploaded and it'll be fine. But yes, uh, all in all I think uh, a really really positive start. It's been a really successful day today. Everything went about as well. As I could have hoped for and I'm looking forward to starting on Monday but I'm going to go out and explore a bit more in Leamington tomorrow so I shall see you then. Bye bye.